Hello friends. Welcome back to our series of educational videos where you discover Australia and what it has to offer. In this video, we will look at accommodation options for international students and how they need to prepare so they get the best bargain. Before we move further let us see where Yo-Yo and Momo are with their Australian education goals. Both have received offer letters from the universities. Yo-Yo has decided to go to the university in Sydney, while Momo wants to go to Melbourne. Although Momo is not happy that her brother has chosen Sydney but she has reluctantly accepted his decision. Yo-Yo and Momo have accepted the offer, paid their fees and obtained the confirmation of enrollment from their respective universities. This will help them to obtain their Australian visa. Please bear in mind that you need to retain both the online and hard copy of the confirmation of enrollment and acceptance of your offer. Yo-Yo and Momo have submitted their online application for the student visa. While they wait for the visa, they are doing research and looking at what options they have for accommodation in Australia. We recommend that you watch our videos on student visa requirements and student visa document checklist to obtain more information. Links are in the description below. Let's see what options students have for accommodation and what research Yo-Yo and Momo have done. Once you decide in which university you will be studying you can start looking out for accommodation which suits your budget and is most convenient for you. When you talk about accommodation there are so many questions that come to your mind. Accommodation will vary from state to state. Sydney and Melbourne are one of the expensive cities, hence their costs will be higher than cities like Adelaide or Perth. Another factor to consider would be to see how far the accommodation from your university campus is. If it is within walking distance, then it will be convenient. But if it is far off, then you will need to make sure that the accommodation has access to public transport. Melbourne has one of the best public transport systems in the whole world. It includes trains, trams and buses. To find out the best location, simply use the Google Maps. Let us look at the types of accommodations and get clarification on the best possible options for students. Here's how to find a rental accommodation which is convenient and cost-effective for a new student. First, let's look at some temporary accommodation options in Melbourne. As an international student, where and how can you book temporary accommodation in Melbourne before you arrive? The first and best place to start would be to see if you have a family member or close relative or a friend who could give you temporary accommodation for a few weeks. This way you will feel at home and would save some money. This would also give your parents peace of mind, knowing that their child is secure and in good hands and with someone whom they know. You can pay your relative or friend a rent or if they are willing to help you without any money, don't forget to buy them a beautiful gift and thank them. Other temporary accommodation places a student could consider are Airbnb, hostels, service departments or hotels. They are also a type of temporary accommodation and can be readily available at short notice. You can also secure a place online even before you travel. This way you have a place ready for you to go to when you land in Melbourne. Weekly rent for such temporary accommodation can be anywhere between 200 and 600. Australian dollars depending on location and the type of accommodation. You can go to websites like YHA and Guitar Room for short-term accommodation. You can also find temporary accommodation on Gumtree. Or simply just search short-term accommodation in Melbourne and Google will show you hundreds of options. Now let's look at permanent accommodation options in Melbourne. One of the best permanent accommodation options is shared accommodation meaning a house or an apartment is shared by a number of people. This option is best because as a student you will not have to worry about paying your bills and you are likely to be provided with everything such as Wi-Fi, fridge, microwave, laundry, bed, study desk, heater etc. You can easily find a shared accommodation using Flatmates website. Weekly rent for shared accommodation can be anywhere between 150 and 500 Australian dollars depending on the location. It can vary depending on the type of accommodation. In some cases, you may be asked to pay bond money as a security deposit and it should be refunded in full once you vacate the property. 
Given Australia is a multicultural society, you should also consider living with a person from a different cultural background. This way you can learn a different culture and expand your network. Another permanent accommodation option is a rental property. You can rent it for yourself or you can share the place with your friends and thus make it cheaper for everyone. For renting, you will have to pay a bond or security deposit plus one month rent in advance. The bond is generally paid to protect the landlord in case the property is damaged, and repairs must be carried out. The bond will be refunded in full when you are leaving the property. Always give a month's notice to the landlord before you are leaving and read the contract when you are about to lease the property. Most apartments will be fully furnished with a bed, mattress, wardrobe, steady desk and chair. As a student, you should only consider fully furnished rental properties so that you do not have to invest in buying furniture. The rent for one to two bedrooms property can be anywhere between 250 and 500 Australian dollars depending on the location and resources provided. When you go for a rental property, you will need to provide documentation such as application form, ID card, pay slips, saving, employment reference, etc. to your real estate agent. A student can also live within the university campus or a university accommodation close to the university campus. This can be done by contacting the university directly. University accommodation is usually more expensive but if you prefer to live on campus or close to the university, this can be one of the best options. We recommend that you conduct your own research and make a decision based on the five extremely important factors. 1. Your permanent accommodation should be relatively close to your university campus. 2. It should be walking distance to public transport. You can look at Google Maps and the Public Transport Victoria website to find the best location. 3. The rent of your accommodation should be in line with your budget. The weekly rent should also include all your bills like electricity, gas, water and Wi-Fi. We will provide more information on budget and financial planning for international students in our next videos. 4. It's best if you can find your permanent accommodation in the city or closer to the city so that you can get more part-time job opportunities. 5. We would suggest that you look for your permanent accommodation in the city or in a good suburb. Some of the good suburbs you may consider are Camberwell, Hawthorne, Riversdale, Clayton, Caulfield, Mulvern, Malvern East, Glen Iris, Elsternick, Praran, South Yarra, Richmond, St. Kilda, Murrumbina, Oakley, Burwood, etc. depending on your university location. We hope the information we provided in this video is helping you in your journey. If you have any question, please feel free to connect with us by commenting below. Goodbye for now. We will return with some new information soon. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.